Well, welcome to the boiling point. You've installed that boiler and for the last two years it's been running fine. But did you neglect this one thing? It may save your boiler and may even your life. Well, we're with Alvin Kennison, valve shop technician at the valve shop. Alvin, uh, appreciate you stopping by no with us problem. today and want to just talk real quick about the relief valve and the importance of that relief valve on a boiler. It, the importance of the relief valve is to ensure that the boiler does not overpressure and pretty much explode. So when it gets to a certain set pressure, it will relieve pressure off of the boiler. Okay. Now, uh, Alvin and I, we actually were talking the other day, um, and that's one of the great things about the job is really to get out here with these guys and, and hear the expertise that they have. And he was talking about the relief valve, and maybe we just come right over here, Alvin. He was talking about the relief valve and how important that this one little thing is that can really save the boiler and possibly save your life. I mean, uh, you were talking about the, the drain plug, Alvin. What, why don't you talk a little about that? Well, this particular valve came back in off of a job, and the drain plug was not removed. And a lot of times they'll come from the factory like this, and it's supposed to be removed and then have a drain put in and bled off to somewhere to a safe location. Well, what happens if the drain plug's not taken out or, or discharged somewhere, this thing will actually fill up with water and it'll end up causing the valve to stick or shut closed. And this particular valve, actually, that was the disc that came out of it. It was locked up, so the valve would have never relieved. And how long was that valve on the boiler, you think? Um, this one, probably somewhere around two years. Wow. So... So like a two-year time frame, these people thought that their boiler would relieve, but right. because of this one little uh, drain here and it not being mm -hmm. discharged off, that, that actually sticks. And this right. disc, it actually gums up so bad that it doesn't even right. it, it will relieve. not pull up, and what it okay. should do is pull up against the spring, relieve pressure, and then come back down. And that's what the disc should look like. Okay, so we have an awful lot of corrosion and things mm -hmm. like that that are down in here. Right. Okay. And what happens is it can come in through the, the stack running from the discharge elbow. Rain can come in there. Uh, the valve can seep slightly. Things like that can all cause buildup. And this particular one, I think it was mainly because the seats were in good condition. It was just a case that rainwater was coming down the stack and it had settled inside of here and had nowhere to go. There are um, caps that go on top, if uh, you, you were talking about that, is that right? Correct. There's a weather hood, and that weather hood will actually protect the spring and protect some of that uh, the environment from getting inside of the valve. But a lot of it, you need to have something in the discharge elbow, or this has to be taken out. And that way it lets anything that gets inside of the valve come out instead of building up around the guiding surface. Now the discharge, um, how far does that run? I mean, do you take that all the way to the ground? I mean, where do you take that? It usually just depends on, you know, where they're at and what they're doing with it. I mean, a lot of times they'll try to take them directly to the ground, but sometimes they actually just discharge them. Like if the, bo the valve's on a back side of the boiler, they'll just discharge it down the back side of the boiler. Because if the valve does lift, you will see steam come out that, that port right there. So they discharge it and discharge it down to a safe area. Sometimes they tie it in too, into a larger pipeline. Okay. You know. Now this uh, relief valve is on a larger uh, boiler or a larger steam system, but even on a small um, pop-off valve, small relief valve, right. I mean, there is a place for the discharge, right? Right, and a lot of times this discharge hole, this is a bleed hole is what they call it, and that's where you'll see any kind of water coming down uh, into the stack. You'll also sometimes see, this is a good indicator that if you do see anything seeping or like steam wise coming out of it, that means there's something malfunctioning with the valve. It is lifted and there's something inside of it, and those actually call it, they'll look at it and say it's seeping or burping you'll see little pockets of steam and maybe something building up. And what happens is a lot of times that hole will then become plugged and then when it does, the whole valve clogs up and it corrodes. Okay. And it can't lift. So that, and that needs to be cl uh, clear all the yes, time. Yes, I mean. that should be clear and there shouldn't be anything coming out of it like steam or anything hot. It should, you know, you might see some water or something like that, but other than that, you won't see anything else. Okay. And if you do, there's something going on, on a steam line, a uh, service, you know. Uh, they do put these on air and water. sometimes this type on water. Okay. Well, we appreciate Alvin stopping by, man. Thanks That's a lot. No and, uh, you know, something that just think about, I mean, making sure that something so small, 
um, could save that your boiler, your system, or again, maybe even a life. Uh, this is the last defense of a boiler system, and we want to just talk real quick. We wanted to talk real quick about that to just make sure that you all understand how important it is. Small little drain, and and the system could be taken care of. And the money. And the money. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's a eight hundred, almost a thousand dollar stem and plug and assembly right there. So. Uh, that plug costs them about 1800 bucks. Oh, wow. Yeah. So just, just that one little drain line, and all of a yeah. sudden you have $1,800. So, uh, again, appreciate you, Alvin. Thanks so much Not for coming by, and uh, we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. We appreciate Alvin stopping by on The Boiling Point. Make sure you check out our YouTube page. And make sure you subscribe. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.